Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to our Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play. Uh, this is part 28. In the last part, we just finished up with the Rocket Hideout and started the Mahogany Gym Challenge. And right now, we're gonna be fighting some more Pokemon trainers here. So let's get things rolling. All right, so this is Border DeAndre with three Pokemon, starting off with a level 25 Seal. And his next Pokemon is the Evolved Form of Seal, a level 26 Dugong. And his last Pokemon is another Seal at level 25. Alright, so we defeat Border DeAndre, and let's just continue on here. Um, now this one, uh, this little Ice Maze thing is a little bit more difficult. Um, let's just go up here and talk to her. Check out my parallel turn. I don't know what that means, because I'm not a Skier. Uh, but this is Skier Jill, and I like the... Um, I like the uh, the ice fields kind of thing. Um, so she's got a dugong at level 29, and we'll probably just get rid of it quickly. Um, actually, this is the very first time I've seen the uh, ice fields kind of thing. It's really cool. <clears throat> All right, so we defeat Skier Jill, and uh, let's keep uh, skating along here. Um, let's see where we go from here. Uh, okay, go here, 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 and let's talk to this guy. I know Price's secret. What is Price's secret? Tell me! Alright, so this is Birder, uh, Birder, Border Gerardo, who's got a level 25 Shelder. And his next Pokemon is the evolved form of Shelder, a Cloister at level 26. And his last Pokemon is another Seal at level 25. Alright, so we defeat Border Gerardo. And uh, the reason Price is strong is because every day he sits on top of very cold ice and trains his body and spirit. That's good to know. Alright, so um, I think what we're supposed to do is push that ice block over. Oh no, I made a mistake again. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, um, alright, so see if you can follow my lead without me making the mistakes. Um, alright, so let's try this again. Um, let's go over here, no, here, 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 here. Darn it. Let's try it again. <clears throat> uh, let's try going here, 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 here. Here. No, no, I'm not getting this. Ah! Ah! Okay, let's try this again. Here. 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 No, I'm not getting it at all. Let's try this. Oh. Oh, darn it. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if we can try this one more time. So, yeah, if you can just go to the. Uh, previous room so you can uh, do things over all right let's try it now this time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here 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 oh no uh, oh, I keep messing up um you know what I'm I'm gonna come back on this and when we get to price then I'll return from there so yeah I'll see you in the other side of the time war okay um here we are at price's place Pokemon have many experiences in their lives just like we do I too have seen and suffered much in my life since I'm your elder let me show you what I mean I've been training Pokemon since before you were born I do not lose easily I price the Winter Trainer shall demonstrate my power. So this is the awesome Ice Type Gym Leader Price. Um, he's really cool. I like the fact that he has a a jacket and a scarf now, as opposed to um, in Gold Silver Crystal where he had just like the striped shirt thing, and it made him look like he was on vacation. All right, so Price has three Pokemon, I think. Um, his first Pokemon is a Seal at level 30, which we do not defeat in one hit, unfortunately. Um, you know, Price is a pretty good trainer, I guess. Um, but I guess 
<laughs> once I once I dispose of Seal and uh, Dugong, I'm gonna send out my uh, Typhlosion to dispose of its third Pokemon, which we will see hopefully. All right, so it withdrew Seal and sent out its new Pokemon, Piloswine. Um, at level 34, um, the reason it doesn't affect Piloswine, my electric moves, is because it's part ground type. Um, so Piloswine and its pre-evolution Swinub are both ice type slash ground types. Alright, so here is another, um, field effect, uh, hail, basically, uh, it causes, uh, all non-ice type Pokemon to receive damage. So, yeah, that's kind of, eh. But, whatever. Um, when I was a little kid, I used to think it was pronounced Pillow Swine, because, you know, his fur was soft like a pillow. I don't know. Alright, anyway, so we defeat Pilo Swine. The hail falls. Um, another thing about hail is, if your Pokemon has the ability, uh, Snow Cloak, it will increase its, um, evasion. So, basically, it would be harder for you to hit that Pokemon. If it has snow cloak. <clears throat> Alright, so he's sending out his dugong now, which is at level 32, which shouldn't be that much of a problem. But it knows Aurora Beam, so if you have a grass type Pokemon or a flying type Pokemon or something, it can be a pretty deadly move. But that's why we have Ampharos on hand, because Ampharos is wicked. <laughs> Alright, so we defeat Dugong. Dugong gong gong. And we're in lots of experience. And let's just uh, get rid of his uh, last Pokemon, his seal. His seal of approval. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're quite the trainer. I don't know if he has a British accent or not, but I always imagined that he did. Or at least like one of those gruff old accents. Something like that. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. Still not dead in one hit. Come on. And for Ross. You know better. Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. Is his last name... Is his middle name really Willow? Price Willow something last name. I don't know. Okay, so... Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. And we defeat Leader Price. Um... This one wasn't very... Blah. I'm impressed by your power prowess, strong obstacles worthy of this badge. And we receive the Glacier Badge from Price. Nice. This is our seventh Johto badge. We're almost done here, actually. Um, and it will allow us to use Whirlpool outside of battle. And we also obtain TM07, which contains Hail. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're uh, we're done with the uh, Mahogany Gem already. So that's uh, this, this one on pretty quick pretty quickly pretty quickly and so we're just going to leave and I bet we're gonna get a phone call from somebody important yes it is it's professor elm Jeremy how are things doing I called because something is weird happening in the radio broadcast they're talking about team rockets we get a team rocket as you can see I customized my uh, poke gear to make it look like uh, team rocket poke gear which is cool do you know anything about it maybe team rocket has returned sorry to bug you take care Alright, so apparently Team Rocket is still around, despite we being us beating them in uh, the Mahogany hideout up there in the souvenir shop. So apparently there's something going on with the radio broadcasts in um, radio, uh, Goldenrod City. So after uh, healing my Pokemon, we're just going to go to Goldenrod City. Um, so let's do that now. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Um, let's check the radio for a second. See, this is what happens after the radio starts getting this weird signal. Uh, yeah, so, something, something weird's going on. Um, but, uh, right now we're just gonna go fly to Goldenrod City, and in the next part we're gonna see what's going on in the radio tower there. But for right now, this is Triforce Plus One, signing off.